the Medical First Responder course was designed, developed and delivered on the basis of a detailed analysis and training needs assessment of the Latin America region as delineated by the members of the Advisory Committee ad hoc, assembled by USAID, OFDA in San Jose, Costa Rica in November 1992. The course has been developed for use in other regions of the world. Recognizing the need for improved search and rescue SAR, capabilities in seismically active countries, the USAID OFDA initiated the program for enhancement of emergency response PEER in 1998, targeting four countries, India, Indonesia, Nepal and the Philippines. MFR is a 13-day course of PEER that was developed by USAID through its Office of U.S. Foreign Disaster Assistance in collaboration with the Miami-Dade Fire Rescue Department, Asian Disaster Preparedness Center, and National Society for Earthquake Technology Nepal. The MFR course has been delivered in Bangladesh, India, Indonesia, Nepal, Pakistan, and the Philippines in guidance and collaboration with the respective government organizations to enhance the capacity of emergency medical responders. In program year 5 of Peer Stage 4, the MFR course was introduced to selected emergency response professionals from Afghanistan, Bhutan, Maldives and Sri Lanka identified Peer Stage 4 extension countries. The purpose of the MFR course is to provide individuals with first response tasks the knowledge and skills necessary to assess, treat, and transport sick or sick or injured patients as a result of an emergency or disaster. Target participants of this course are mainly emergency and disaster first response groups, for example, fire departments, Red Cross, Red Crescent societies, police departments, and rescue groups associated with government emergency response system. Peer MFR course is a pass-fail course. The course is delivered in 13 parts, led by a course coordinator, seven lead instructors with four assistant instructors using the interactive lecture method of instruction that is objective-based, performance-oriented, tested, and highly participatory. The experience of the instructors is enriched by the interaction between the participants. Experienced course monitor is assigned for overall supervision of course delivery. Interactive lectures and demonstration practice sessions are used to present the course content with exercises and written evaluations used to assess participant learning. Given three typical emergency scenarios, for example trauma, medical and childbirth emergencies, the individual participant following the protocols taught in the course will receive and register an emergency, arrive at a simulated emergency event and evaluate the scene, secure the scene and solicit appropriate help, gain access to and evaluate the status of patient, select the necessary equipment, stabilize the patient at the scene, mobilize and transport the patient, inform the receiving facility of the patient's condition and treatment given prepare the equipment for the next emergency.